Uh, I'm gonna say to them, look. A lot of people though. Well, actually, Neil, I need the information. Does any of us know, like, do we have any training or knowledge about what a warg would be attracted to or anything like that? Um, not really. Think of it as like half wolf, half dog, half yeah. or, half wolf, half horse. So, you know, just kind of that sort of thing. Whatever um, dog you're attracted to. I would say our best advantage is since we know that they come from one direction, we know that they they come at night. If we could set up some kind of a ambush trap thing where we can get some kind of accelerant from the the uh, from the village, and I don't know. I mean, set set fire to a spot as they close in on that spot. You know, we could put a uh, put like a trench around the outskirts of the town and put some. I don't know. Go cut some trees down. Put spikes in them. Yeah. Defend the town that way. It'd take yep. a while to set that up. But it maybe just a day. You know, if we get the village to motivate themselves to saving their own lives, we could have some help and have them construct this with us. Yeah, I mean, I can see about uh, finding who their warriors are and if they need healing or anything like that. And start okay. start that way. I, I think maybe going the ditch route might... I don't know if, if, if Breger's done anything like that before. Maybe he has a better idea for a trap. Um, do I? Do I have <laughs> trap skills? <laughs> no. I I wonder aloud. I Who don't would think... have trap skills. None of you guys have any sort of snares or traps uh, for skills. Maybe someone <clears throat> in the town has trap skills. Probably not. Okay. Anyway, so we're gonna do this ditch thing. Um. I would recommend you don't use up too much of your heals. Like, offer it, I suppose, but don't just give it away because we need you to support us in the big fight. Sure. Um, uh, but I'll go talk to them about constructing this ditch. And we don't need a ditch that surrounds the city, for God's sakes. We just need it to thin their numbers or slow them down from that angle, I would say, right? Yeah, that sounds good to me. I think anything to help us in an upcoming fight would be good. So maybe just five or six foot. <laughs> okay. Send the elves to go chop down trees or something. I don't know. Abigail Breger, do you have any ideas of what you want to do to help? I'm pretty sure I can chop down trees, too. Okay. Can I? <laughs> I mean, sure anyone too. can chop down a tree. Turns out you're an nice. excellent tree chopper. Yeah, I do, like, the stickest logs. I think I have plus three to tree chopping. <laughs> okay. And stick sharpening. All right, so you guys just make sure they do a good job with the manual labor, I suppose. But I'll go, I'll go get this organized. So I'm going to approach uh, the mob of people again. Mm-hmm. And explain this strategy, this plan, and then s ask for volunteers to help with the f the labor. Uh, people readily volunteer to help. Yeah. Okay. Just, awesome. I mean, they're pretty terrified. So, for because, your purpose, like, you're in charge, so they'll do basically whatever you say. So, for your purpose, Neil, then we're gonna have them dig. Well, they're gonna help chop down trees to then be sharpened into stakes, mm -hmm. and then they're gonna dig a trench that's like. I don't know, like a hundred feet long and uh, five feet deep or six feet deep or whatever uh, in the direction where the they come from. And then okay. put the, the stake, obviously. Okay. So five or six feet deep, hundred feet long. Okay. Can we um, do that in a day? No. <laughs> How many people do we have helping us? You only have about 30 people who are able-bodied. So you can get a couple of those that are to, you know, cut down tree branches and stuff to create giant stakes. Some of them are going to be, you know, taking apart old buildings or damaged buildings for wood to do the same. And then you've got the remainder digging trenches with either shovels, but they don't have enough shovels, so others will use, you know, whatever tools they have on hand. Okay. okay. Well, we'll just do it the best we can then. So yeah. I'll, I'll address the crowd and, and ask them, uh, where are your, your mightiest warriors? Maybe I could uh, help them out if they are in need. The one guy that had spoken up at the very beginning kind of shakes his head and said, most of our, all of our trained warriors are gone. It's just us now. Just the normal townsfolk. Are you the, I'm, the I'm leader? I'm a blacksmith. Well, eh, he kind of well, wobbles and said, I guess not really. You know, the town, the mayor's gone. He went for reinforcements to the north, but never came back. Um, I've kind of taken over the de facto. I've kind of taken over the role of leading, but I'm not really 
made of that sort of stuff. Um, I'm a blacksmith by trade, so I'm probably the strongest man here. Well, do any of your your townspeople need healing before uh, this oncoming fight, or perhaps before they start building for us? Well, a lot of people are hurt. A lot of people are wounded. Is anyone but... in dire need? Shakes said no. Most of those that were badly wounded are gone already. Okay, well, you let me know if, if someone needs uh, healing throughout the course of the day if they, if they work too hard. We're, we need to get started on the stitch. You know, as I said, um, everyone gets set to work, dig in a trench, and that sort of thing. Okay. Um, actually, what I would then say is, I guess, uh, Bregor, how about you scout out way ahead and... I think you'll be more valuable making sure that if if we were to get attacked pretty soon, you could ride back and warn us instead of us just getting caught with all the villagers in the ditches, basically. Sure. I can do that. Do you want him to go alone? Or do you want me to come? No, he can go alone. He's, oh, he's, all right. You're too valuable at chopping down trees. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little known <laughs> secret. You're like one of the best in the whole world. <laughs> I do the thickest stakes. Uh, I want to ask the the blacksmith guy if if they've ever been attacked during the day, or or if he believes the goblins to fear light, or or how that works. He says no, the goblins never come during the daylight. They hate it. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, go goblins do not like bright lights. Okay, good to know. Good to know. And then I'll go back to digging the ditch. Okay, right, I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna set out uh, and take a post like 20 minutes away from Silver Hall on my horse and try and find a good like hiding or lookout spot mm -hmm. uh, in between Silver Hall and where the goblins come from. Okay. You go out a little ways and there's a small hill uh, with a tree on top of it that you climb up. I'm going to ask uh, T Tugabut for healing by the way too. If I could get some healing. It would be great. Sure. I'll go up and uh, give me your hand Vincent. I give him my hand. So I give him a palm massage, and I heal him. <laughs> His hands are tired from all the uh, sh sword sharpening. Well, just a regular healing? heal. It's just 1d8, right? Right. Eight. Nailed it. Nice. That was it a was, roll for massage. Your hands immediately feel amazing. <laughs> this is a good massage. <laughs> So they're all doing that. Uh, Breger's out there, and, and I'm kind of, I'm contributing, but I'm not really going like shirtless montage on this thing. I'm more kind of making sure I'm overseeing the project and making sure that off in the distance there's not Breger at full speed coming at us like run for the hills, you like know, a nobleman would, you know, yeah. watching the peasants work. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah, and I'm chopping wood like really well. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you guys make some decent headway, but soon enough, sun goes down, moon comes out, and people go to bed. What do you guys nice. do in the evening? Um, Abigail, you're pretty exhausted from all the work. Tadaga, what were you doing during the day? Were you digging or something? Uh, you know, I was just kind of standing around the ditch, not actually exerting any energy, but uh, <laughs> looking as if I was important. <laughs> so Abigail, as the only member of the team that actually did any work today, um, and Bregor, kind of, he he sat in a tree. That's okay. work, though. He was making sure we weren't getting attacked. Right. <laughs> so Abigail, you're tired. Uh, the rest of you guys are, you know, okay. I'm first guard because I realize that I'm the least tired. So. All right. I guess I'll go sleep. Okay. I'm first guard, and like Abigail sleeps all night. We like give up her position, so. It can be split um, between Tugabut and I. Regor, are, do you come back to the town or do you stay out? I stay. Okay. Okay. So, evening's going. Regor, you're sitting up in a tree, waiting and waiting and waiting. And then off in the distance, your elf eyes spot a, a couple of riders. Uh, do I recognize them as goblins on wargs? Yes. Okay, so I instantly um, get out of the tree and <clears throat> get on my horse 
and head back to town. Okay. As fast as I can go. All right. You manage to get on your horse before the wargs get to you. Um, and I think wargs are a little bit slower than horses. I would be surprised if it, they weren't. They're not. Well, you have a light horse. Yeah. Yeah, you're faster than they are. Okay. So, <clears throat> I get to town and I immediately start warning everybody that I see that uh, goblins are coming. But I I'm kind of like warning as I'm riding, but I'm riding towards the people in my party, mainly. Right. Well, the town's pretty small. Everyone's in bed, uh, except for a couple of people that are, you know, except for Jeff, who is on watch. Okay. Well, I'm shouting. I'm being really loud. So maybe some people will wake up. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so Jeff, you, you see Brigger riding into town. Okay. I'm going to go uh, wake up. I mean, as soon as he's coming at me, I kind of know, given his urgency, that it's time to wake up the group, so I'm going to go wake them up. Okay. As he wakes me up, I say, good morning, sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, how many did I see? You saw about a dozen. Okay. All right. I grab my equipment to fight, just so yep. we know it's not staying where I was sleeping. Okay. Okay, so everyone gets up. You guys are waking the townsfolk, too. They start rising to their feet. Um, and the riders on their wargs are probably five minutes away at this point. Right. So five minutes before they get there, go. I say we need to get these people organized. Anybody that can fight should help out. I'm going to set up somewhere in kind of a post, like a sniper post, and just shoot from long range. Yeah, Somewhere I'd like there. to. I'd like to find a tree as well. We need to get those ideally. pikes as set up as possible. Like, yeah, I know the ditch probably isn't complete, but we still need sticks poking out of whatever it is we have dug. So get the townsfolk on that. Yep. And then, um, if you, you know, you shouldn't be. There's like wargs running around attacking, so I, I don't, I don't want people to needlessly die. So we shouldn't have that. But we need to get that ditch set up right away. And then, if anyone can't, like the smith, we need to get you a sword. So I hand him. Uh, one of my daggers, I guess, or something. No, he has a hammer or some shit. He's better with that, I'm guessing. <laughs> Go get your hammer, Smith. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm, uh, I'm going to casually walk into the center of the town, sit down, and start humming a spell. Humming a spell? Yep. Okay. Hum your spell. Which spell are you humming? I'm trying to find a tree to be like... In oh, wait. I didn't send it to you. I guess I'll still hum the spell, but... <laughs> <laughs> I, I couldn't memorize spells because we, we didn't sleep in town, did I? Son of a bitch. Well, I mean, yeah, you haven't spent a full night in town yet. Yeah, all right, never mind. So you still have your... Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll be like, well, that was dumb, and then just go grab some pikes and start setting them up in the ditch. Okay. Any, any other actions? Uh, I'm, I'm setting up at my little sniper post. Yeah, trying okay. to find a tree find or... A sit on yeah i'm sitting on something too so you two like go sit on a rooftop yeah okay what do you do with your horses during all this just tie it up outside the bar okay okay so uh as people start setting in stakes you can see uh you can see the wargs getting closer and closer and closer i, um, I mean as, as they get within like a couple minutes i start ushering the people out of there and uh, who do we have that's fighting like the smith? Is anybody else able to do it? Yeah, everyone... Basically everyone at this point has like picked up you know, sharpened stakes uh, to use as impromptu spears or you know, grabbed a hammer or something in case... the. Uh, so everyone in the town is armed, but they're all super shitty fighters. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to have them like... Uh... Like, there's going to be the ditch, and I'm going to call them back, like, a uh, hundred feet away from the ditch, and organize them in, like, a, a circle behind me type of thing. Okay. So I I'm going to shoot the instant they, they come in range. 
Yeah, same. Okay, so, Gregor, your range is a lot larger than Abby's because you mm -hmm. have your fancy you magical range. bow. And yeah, you've got the better bow for that and the magic of it. Um, so you can shoot. That's not. I'm sorry. Jen and Ryan, not Jen and Jeff. Okay, so you can shoot. Uh, well, when they. All right, so you, you can get two shots off, three shots off before they get here. Jen, you get one shot off, or two if you want to do uh, a penalty to your first shot. Hmm. Well, then, yes. I guess I'll go with two, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, Ryan, take a shot at a Borg Rider okay. combination. And are you shooting the Borg or the Rider? Uh, <clears throat> I'm shooting at Riders. Okay. So, roll to hit. Alright. Uh, D20 plus 6. 26. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that is a hit. That is there's by ten, so it's a natural, so it's a triple crit, or double crit, triple damage. All right. So what do I roll? Three d eight plus two. So he's dead. Yeah, he's 19. dead. Nineteen. Yeah, I mean your arrow just like right through his eye, out the other side. He falls off his horse, plumps to the ground, dead. Nice. Everyone. Right off his ward. <laughs> All right, two more shots. Gregor, another no, shot, Gregor. exact same thing. Okay. And Abby, you get a shot at D20 plus four. 21. Range. 21's another hit. Yeah. Not a, not a critical. So. Just a D8 plus two for you. D20 plus four for me? Yes. I got 10. Jesus. Oh, I thought that was your damage. I was like, what? No. <laughs> Seven's his damage. Seven hits another rider who falls off his borg the ground. Abby, your shot sails behind someone. Uh, you both get d20 plus 6 at this point for your next shot. Yeah, 12. 12 is a miss. Okay. Ryan? <clears throat> right door. Twelve. Yeah. So your last shots miss completely. Um, and let's do an initiative roll. So someone pick for the team. Well, after this, you're going to do the ditch, right? Whatever that right. does. Right, right, right. Uh, Abigail, you roll for us. Roll what? D10. 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 Seven. Damn it, Abigail. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, the wargs and the riders close with you guys. Uh, and only one of them is actually in position to be hit by the the trench, and he does. The warg runs right into it, totally not seeing it at all. Hells himself on the spikes. Low. Ooh, Jesus. He takes 14 damage from this the stake set inside of it. That's what's uh, up. <laughs> yeah, it is. Which runs right through the warg's chat. Like the warg is bounding and like slips and falls into the pit, and the spike just goes right through him. And it might even hit the rider behind him. Does hit the rider behind him. Who all like yeah? So like, imagine like a warg and a rider combination coming, and like slips on the slope, falls right into a stake. You know, placed at an angle, and like penetrates through the warg's chest and then through the goblin's abdomen, and, like sticks back out. So it's like a giant spit. Uh, barbecue spit. So of 12 wargs, only one ran into the pit? It didn't get... It wasn't very wide at that point. You know, you'd only spent a day working on it, and they were kind of spread out. So... Mm. It was oh, unfortunate. Still one. Okay. Yeah. Unfortunate loss. Um, meanwhile, the some of them are running into the uh, side of the town. A couple of them are coming towards the area where Abby and Brager are shooting off of a rooftop and they're readying their spears to throw at you guys. Would you Can I throw my sp Oh, we both have spears, I guess. Because I'm going to throw my spear too. Okay, uh, on your turn. They're going first, though. So 
two of them toss their spears at Gregor, and they. Wait, hold on, Gregor, your AC is 15. Uh, one of them hits you with. His I thought he had spear. the armor. He had the the three plate. Gregor doesn't have three quarter plate. Yeah, I gave it to him. I have right plate armor. J yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm looking at JP's character sheet. I'm sorry. Yeah, you've got 19 AC. So, yeah, they throw their spears. One of them like, bounces off your armor. The other lands next to you. Abby, one guy throws a spear at you, and it just sails right past you. Mm. Um, two of them ride up towards Vincent, and they stab at you with their spears as they ride past. Both of them missing, and their wargs bite at you as they run past as well. And they, their mouths close over air. Okay, well, it's right. a choice between throwing my spear and using my sword. I'm just going to use my sword then, I guess, right? So right. I don't get to throw my spear. Yeah, um, close before you could get it. I'm going to use the other magical sword on one of the guys. Not the bloodsucker? No, I'll use the bloodsucker. All right. I'll use the bloodsucker? Okay. <laughs> D20 plus 6? Uh, yes, D20 plus 6. Oh, never mind then. It's going to be one we'll of talk those Talk about days. next turn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See you no, next right. week, Vincent Longborn. Yeah. <laughs> as long as I don't streak ten of these together, Jesus. JP or Tadagub. How doing? many? How many? How many goblins and wargs are left? And is uh, there a central a area of them? No, they're kind of, they're pretty well spread out. They're kind of like hidden different parts of the town and doing different things. All right, I'll just swing for uh, any that are around Vincent and go that route. Yeah. I'm considering the four of you guys clustered fairly close together in your one house. Okay, yeah. I'll just swing at, at uh, any of them. Okay. It's just a straight up d20, right? d20 plus two. Four. <laughs> <laughs> you take your maul and just like crack it into the side of a building. Yeah. Uh, Abigail, d20 plus six for your bow attack. Meh. Yes. No, no. Can't Meh. hit anything. Same thing for you, Gregor. Just chilling okay. on my branch. Oh, no, so you know how there's the the two goblins that came after us with spears? Yeah, that we're I'm throwing. Shoot at not one of those, just another one. Okay. Nineteen. Nineteen is a hit. Nice. Right. Seven damage. Not bad. You shoot another one in the chest, and he falls off his warg to the ground. Nice. And now, what about the mob? Are they swinging at the guys when they go by? Yeah. Um, <laughs> They're throwing potatoes at the forks. And... <laughs> Stones, JP. <laughs> or at least frozen potatoes. Frozen potatoes. That would hurt. It probably would. Okay. And then just a quick wargs killing townsfolk rolls. Mm. 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 And wargs bite for 2d4 damage. Okay, so you guys hear the cries of. Oof. You guys hear the cries of three town folk as they're ripped apart by wargs um, and um, and then, you know another two being impaled on the spears of goblins um, next turn they don't do anything to the wargs or goblins oh, um, your turn I'm sorry they the ones that had uh, come up to attack you Vincent had attacked you and then just kind of like kept riding past you. Um, so you guys have actually, Vincent and Tudagub, you no longer have any targets near you. Like they attacked you and then they just kept like riding beyond you. But they didn't take any damage is what I'm saying? No, because you missed your attacks. No, I'm talking about the townsfolk doing damage to the goblins. Yeah, the one of the wargs was badly damaged by the smith and two guys standing next to him, but the others were pretty unscathed. Okay. 
Um, your guys' turn. Brian and Jen, you have clear shots at a couple guys that rode past you, but Jeff and JP, you don't have anyone next to you. So D20 plus six, there's no bonus for like being behind them or anything, right? Plus two for back attack. So plus eight? Yes. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> this is frustrating, I keep rolling tens. Right yeah, attack as I, well? Jesus. Yeah. 20. You of hit. Course. Gregor. Yeah, of course. Gregor. Yeah. <laughs> D8 plus two, not that it matters. 10. Yeah. Another, like, base of the snap on of fire. Thing, uh, snaps the going neck. to war. Goblin falls. Going ham on these dead. goblins. So I'm going to, can I throw my spirit one? Um, sure. You can run close enough to toss your spirit guy. Nice. What is that? D20? D20 plus. Um, what do you... Uh, you are level four, so one for including back attack, do twenty plus three. Eighteen. Eighteen, hit. Uh, D six damage. Uh, oh. actually, four. Okay. And it's going at a rider. Yeah, actually, it's D six plus one, so five. Um, you you know toss a spear, lodges in a goblin, who tumbles off his warg to the side. He's dead. Yeah, well, yeah, dead. On the ground with a spear through him. I'm sure if Tudagub came and healed him, he'd be okay, but, mm -hmm. you know, it's an unlikely scenario. There's probably not a Red Cross goblin riding around like, hold on! <laughs> <laughs> I can bring him back! Yeah, that, there's none of that right now. Um, Tudagub, is there anything you want to do? Uh, do I notice them turning at all? Like, to come back towards us? No, they seem... A couple, you notice a couple goblins have like hopped off their wargs and have run inside the building. Um, and the wargs are just kind of like standing about while others are just, you know, riding through, attacking whatever townspeople they can uh, find. I'll go ahead and run into that building or run towards that building however far I can get on this turn. You can get up to the building, but there are two wargs standing outside. All right, I'll get up to the building. And then if I can attack one of the wargs, I'll do that. If not, I'll wait. Yeah, okay, you can still get an attack in. Yeah, let's do that. Then I'll roll at uh, one of the, the wargs. D20 plus two. Oops. 21. 21 is a hit. Yeah. It's at 1D. Or it's 2D4, right? Uh, Warhammer. It's. Uh, no, it's a D10 against a warg because it's size. No, I'm sorry. D wargs are still medium. 2D4. Five. Five damage. Okay. You crack the warg uh, in the shoulder and it whimpers, but then starts growling ferociously at you. Great. Uh, enemy's turn. So the two wargs bite or, you know, nip and bite at you. One of them gets a, a good clamp on your leg for. It's too hard to read. Six damage. Okay. I should move your HP to the current sheet. You took six, puts you at 25. I'm just translating your HP or transposing something. Trans Transcribing. Something Transcribing, thank you. Um, Jeff, no one comes near you, and Ryan and Abigail, none, no one throws anything at you, but the remaining wargs still, you know, are harassing people. Two, three hits. Uh, it does not look good. Yeah. So a few more people fall to the wargs and the riders. Um, next round. So, right now you just got a bunch of people that used, were initially trying to hold off the wargs, but at this point the town has broken. People are running inside, trying to lock themselves in doors or climbing on top of anything they can, you know, just trying to hide at this point. The riders have complete control over the streets except for the party of your four. Um, Abigail and Bregor are still sitting on a roof, taking shots at anything that comes by. 
Tudagub is in the middle of trying to fight off two wargs, get inside a building where some goblins have run inside. And Vincent, you just threw your sphere at what would have been the third guy going there. The warg has bounded off somewhere else in the streets to chase people now that he's like free and not being you know, uh, ridden. What do you guys do? <clears throat> I shoot at a goblin. Okay, you can still Same. see. Okay. Are, are we shooting back attacks here? Uh, no, you'll get side attacks. Only additional plus one. They're not. Their backs aren't directly so to you. Plus seven. Plus seven. Uh, ten. Plus seven for the, me too, right? Yeah, yeah. You guys, you hit the dirt in front of his feet, bro. Twenty-five. Nice. Yay. <laughs> Just Abigail, gave me your luck, bro. <laughs> triple damage, three d six, yeah. which should be enough to kill a goblin. Well, yeah, you take a goblin out, no problem. Just like as I do it, I go pew, pew pew pew, Baha. Goblin falls off the warg to the dust below. You nailed it. You killed a warg. A goblin. Oh, a goblin. Okay. <clears throat> goblin. Um, I'm going to go pull my spear out of the dead goblin and start stalking after like uh, the the guys that are harassing the, the folk. I mean, I guess it sounds like most of them ran indoors, but I guess the ones that are pursuing, I'm going to be pursuing them. Okay. So you grab your spear, start running down the, the street a little ways, and you can see... Uh, I mean, yeah, you don't see anyone... You don't see any townsfolk out right now, but you see some wargs and some goblins like... Uh, uh, a goblin that's dismounted off his war trying to break into a door. I'm going to run up to him and slash his throat. Okay. He's just out of range for this turn. He's, you know, a, ca a block down the road. So. Can I throw my spear at him then? Yeah, you can throw your spear. Do I get the back attack? Um, You'd get the back attack, but he's, like, standing on the other side of the war, so that it mitigates the back attack. It's just D20? So D20 plus one. 17. 17's a hit. D6 damage. Six. Two. Two. Okay. Okay. You hit him in the shoulder. A uh, spear grazes him and falls to the ground below. So just as a, a visual for that, you know, Jeff runs up, pulls the spear out of a goblin, turns frantically looking for someone, sees a goblin down the road with ways, runs up, tosses the spear, swirls actually quite a ways, grazes the goblin, who now turns to see you. He points at you and the warg starts running at you. Tudagub, what are you doing? I'm going to swing at the warg that I hit last round. Okay, yeah, there's two of them just like nipping at you, frothing at the front. For seven. Yeah, you're swinging your maul, but you can't hit them. They're they're just too fast. Um, they continue to fight at you. Ooh. Um, That's a crit reroll. Yeah, one of them did crit. You reroll re it? Yep. Okay, it becomes a miss. The other one does hit you still, though. Cap. His teeth close around your leg again for another five damage, bringing you down to 20. Uh, Jeff, the one warg that was got, that goblin had sent at you, bounds at you and tries to bite you, but you bat his face away with your shield without actually doing any damage. Um... Okay, you hear a horn blowing, and you see a couple of goblins start to flee, or mounted goblins start to flee back towards the the mountains. Um, there are a bunch of wargs still running about, you know, barking at buildings, trying to like get their way in, but they can't get through walls because there's wargs. Um, okay. So, next Can round. Can I keep shooting as they're running away? Yeah, you, all the goblins are out of range, or, you know, or they're behind the oh. building at this point. So you only have the only thing that you can really hit out is the goblins trying to get into the door, the warg attacking Jeff, or the two wargs that are fighting JP. Um, I guess it'll go for the goblin. Okay. D twenty plus. Twelve uh, plus seven. Six or eight, seven. Seven. Thirteen. Thirteen is a miss. Hey. All right, I'll swing at the guy that's uh, the warg that's chomping at me. Okay. I'm sorry. Thirteen's a hit. Thirteen's oh. a hit. At, at this oh, wow. My my bad. My bad. So d eight, d six for damage. Yeah. Two. <laughs> Two. Okay. He's up to four now, I guess. <laughs> he 
which Goblin does not fall. Um, uh, Br Brigor, who are you? What are you doing? <clears throat> I I'm gonna shoot a bow, uh, shoot an arrow at one of the wargs attacking JP. The one that JP already hit, or the other one? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll do the one he already hit. Okay, rolled hit. Plus, what am I rolling? Uh, D20 plus 6 is all. Okay. 12. Well, 12 is a miss. Okay. I'm going to swing at the warg that's attacking me. Mm hmm. 21. Ooh, that's a hit. So, D. Uh, 12? No. no, D8. They're just medium sized creatures. D8 plus 4, right? I, that's D8 why I always get 12. 4, yeah. 9. Nine. You cleave him in the leg, and there's blood starts pouring, you know, off the foreleg, um, but he doesn't fall. But, you know, he's badly wounded. Okay. Tudagub, did you already go? No. How no. much HP am I at? 20? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to cast Withdrawal and then heal myself... Uh, Two times. Okay. With so, uh, two moderate heals. 